welcome to this morning's Walk of Fame ceremony, sponsored by the Hollywood Historic Trust and its administrators, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. I'm Johnny Pratt, and today we honor a group whose music has impacted four decades, the 60s, 70s, 80s, and now the 90s. Today we honor Chicago. Oh! they picked right here. Uh, you know their great music has stirred up a few little romances in the uh, I don't think we better go into that. But anyway, it's a wild place to be here on Hollywood Boulevard. Since the release of their first album some years ago, Chicago is recognized as one of the most vibrant acts in world music history. Not only is their career characterized by phenomenal numbers, over 100 million albums sold, they are one of the biggest concert attractions of all time and have a list of chart-topping singles longer than the entire repertoire of many other groups. Some of their biggest hits include, now listen, and if I hit one that uh, strikes your fancy, uh, you know, let me hear it. Uh, Hard Habit to Break. You're the Inspiration. Will You Still Love Me? I Don't Want to Live Without Your Love. I'm going to yell this one because I'm older than the rest of you. This, this one goes way back. Saturday in the Park. That was 1972, of course. And if you leave me now, many, many others. Their concern for humanity has stood in prominently in the band's music from the start of their career. And songs such as, does anybody really know what time it is? Chicago manages to make social statements without ever becoming overtly political. Yet Chicago has also assumed an active role politically, taking their responsibility as performers in the public eye seriously. Among their earliest activities was a benefit for the Lincoln Park Zoo in Chicago. And there were a large... Any Chicago people here today? All right, what, what's Channel 9 in Chicago? You got it, you got it. That's my company, you know. Where were we here? Uh, they campaigned for presidential by candidates of their choice. Realizing the power they feel for their audience, at their concerts, Chicago has always worked to encourage young people to vote, to be a part of the community, to be a part of what makes it happen. Chicago recently came off a major concert tour that has brought them to the Greek Theater, where they will be performing tonight and tomorrow. So now, ladies and gentlemen, it is a real joy for me to welcome Jason Sheff, Walt Perizeta, James Panko, Lee Lockne, Robert Lamb, Dwayne Bailey, and Chris M. Bowden. Ladies and gentlemen, Chicago! Oh! Look at that, guys. Look at that. Right here, 
Howard Coughlin, who's died in the moment, I get a message like this, Howard Coughlin can't speak. <laughs> Howard Coughlin would kill me if I didn't get him up. Ladies and gentlemen, Howard Coughlin. Look at there, guys. Look at there. What are you saying? Signs up! Signs up! Bring your signs up so we can see them. Yeah, we, right, all right, love Chicago. Yeah, that was Madonna in the front seat pit. If you saw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't either, you know that. Uh, where were we? Howard Kaufman, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse. 
to come by here and then boost some stuff, some gear out of here to get to my wife for 25 years. So thanks a lot and uh, thank you, Lord, for this honor. Thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, we waited 25 years for today. So did Johnny. And uh, it's, it's a great, great honor to, uh, to have this incredible day on our behalf. But I just want to say, and Walt pretty much covered the bases, but what I really want to say personally is that without, without you, without the fans, without the people that enjoy what we've done for so many years, this wouldn't have been possible. And I just want to thank the people everywhere that have enjoyed our music for so many years. God bless you. It's great to be here.
opportunity to come by and see the star as much as you'd like to. But I have a replica for each one of you. And here, whose who's name is on this one? That, that one just says Chicago. That goes into the museum. Look this way, here it is. Everybody look this way as your stars up. Look this way, please. Hold up your stars. to see what's on tap for the 11 o'clock news. That's Paul. What are you working on? Kel, uh, are we on a collision course with Saddam Hussein again? History does seem to be repeating itself now. We'll have the latest on that question at night side at 11 o'clock tonight. Also, hospital workers find a surprise in the restroom. A beautiful abandoned baby. And uh, the rock group Chicago got its star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame earlier today. Tonight, the open at the Greek. David Sheehan tells us if they are still rocking up the snuff, and I bet they are. Night side, 11 o'clock tonight. Kelly, Jess, back to you. All right, Paul. A story. A celebration in Hollywood today. Several hundred fans turned out to see the veteran rock group Chicago get its own star on the Walk of Fame. That crowd was about 300 people. They spilled out onto the street in Hollywood Boulevard. They came to see the band that gained fame during the 1970s with Does Anyone Really Know What Time It Is? And If You Leave Me Now, stuff like that. Chicago's new album is called 21. They're still at it. They are still at it and still together, which is unusual for bands that have been yeah. around that long. Absolutely. And lucky for us. Going to talk about one of Wendy's <laughs> favorite people, all right? She loved him on Saturday Night Live for us. Chicago, a group that formed in 1967 and has sold over 100 million albums, was immortalized on Hollywood's Walk of Fame outside Playmates Lingerie on Hollywood Boulevard. Robert Lamb, a founding member of Chicago, spoke of the future. The main thing is that, is that we've really enjoyed all the years and although it's been 25 years it seems more like 10 uh, and there always seems to be there always seems to be something ahead of us that we need to to go after Chicago has withstood changing times and trends they told me how they've been able to do it it's just like being married you know it's like one of those things got to give each other space and you know be willing to listen and when the other guy is uh, needs to share something and or you know be willing to spill your guts if something's bothering you this tribute is just one of many the band has received through the years. And although it is nice to have, the band keeps their sights on the music. I'm happy when I get them, but uh, I'm more likely to focus on, you know, the next song that's being written or the next time that we get into the studio. And uh, I, I long ago ran out of room to put, <laughs> to put any gold records up, so I just, a lot of them I, I keep in, in the Chicago warehouse with my old instruments. <laughs> Members told me that the years together have been an experiment. Well, the experiment continues. And tonight, Chicago will do what they do best when they perform at the Greek Theater. Francesca Capucci, Channel 7 Eyewitness News in Hollywood. That'll do it for us. Harold will be back at 11 o'clock.
Hoy, desde Hollywood, Brandon Lee, hijo del legendario Bruce Lee. El Grupo Chicago celebra 25 años con estrella en el Paseo de la Fama. Estaremos detrás de las cámaras con Meryl Streep, Goldie Hawn y Bruce Willis. En grandes tragedias de Hollywood, el suicidio de la estrella mexicana Lupe Vélez. Y en una reveladora entrevista, Shayan habla de su nuevo disco y desmiente rumores sobre su vida bueno, privada. Un montón de comentarios sobre matrimonio, que me he casado, que tengo hijos, que me he divorciado, que tengo nueva mujer. Chicago. Este legendario grupo de rock celebró 25 años de extraordinaria carrera artística en el Paseo de la Fama en Hollywood, donde se le otorgó una estrella en su nombre. Fanáticos de todas las edades acompañaron a sus integrantes a recibir este importante homenaje. La música inconfundible de Chicago ha sobrevivido varias generaciones. En el mundo entero, muchas de sus canciones han sido acompañamiento musical de miles de romances. Hasta la fecha, Chicago ha vendido más de 100 millones de álbumes. A pesar de la trágica muerte de uno de sus integrantes, Terry Kath, en 1978, y el retiro de la inconfundible voz de Chicago, Peter Cetera, la banda se ha mantenido unida y ha colocado en los últimos años varios éxitos en los primeros lugares de popularidad. Felicitaciones a Chicago, legendaria banda de rock. Definitivamente nuestro programa de hoy es muy especial, nos acompaña un viejo amigo además de... More than 300 fans crowded Hollywood Boulevard to see Chicago celebrate its 25th anniversary with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Since 1967, the band has sold more than 100 million albums. The star is outside the Playmates of Hollywood lingerie shop. Chicago says that's appropriate since lots of their music is the soundtrack for lots of wild romance. Looking Welcome forward to region. seeing Yes, but first, whatever <laughs> happened to the rock band Chicago? They're still going strong. David Sheehan shows us next. Performances in rock and roll. And finally tonight, name a rock group that has been around for a quarter of a century. David Sheehan has one, and they are still going strong. In fact, tonight they open at the Greek. That's right. They you know, did. except for the uh, Rolling Stones and the Grateful Dead, the only rock and roll band that's lasted 25 years is Chicago. So the celebration of Chicago's 25th anniversary as part of the tour that opened tonight at the Greek Theater really is kind of a musical milestone. It's still a jazz-flavored kind of rock, bright and brassy and full of the flavor that got Chicago off the ground in 1967 and sustained the group through hit songs and big-selling albums ever since. On Hollywood Boulevard, Chicago's status as a rock and roll legend was officially confirmed with a star on the Walk of Fame, where lead singer Robert Lamb explained why he thinks the group survived. I've been able to learn to stay open enough to, uh, to hear criticism, and uh, I think that's, that's been the universal reality for us. You know, we've been able to just be able to listen to each other. And the six guys who call themselves Chicago do seem to be listening to each other these days, the same way they were the last time they played here, or the time before that, or...
Besides old favorites like that, Chicago has a long list of newer songs, too, and both sides of the group's 25-year history do get played in the concert at the Greek, where there will be another Chicago show tomorrow night. And that is kind of mellow rock. A quarter of a guys. century. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, they came in before you were. Of course I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you remember the 60s? I don't want to brag too much about it. No, no, no. Oh, I was very much there, absolutely. That's it for this edition of Night Side, everyone. Lead to a woman's death. Fans proved that after 25 years, the group Chicago is a hard habit to break. A very special day for the family of the... An ankle. Well, members of the rock group Chicago celebrated their 25th anniversary today by getting a star on Hollywood's Walk of Fame. I remember wheeling my daughter, two-year-old, by all these stars back in 68 when all of us came out here and we're trying to rub two nickels together to make a quarter. And uh, never in our wildest dreams did we ever think that we'd have one of these. The group is known for the hit, Does Anybody Really Know What Time It Is? If You Leave Me Now and Saturday in the Park, to name just a few. Well, the boss is back, as we've been telling you, and... ...destroyed. And they sold over a million albums in 25 years, and now they're firing up a new generation. Francesca talks to Chicago. I remember them well. I was young back then, I think. <laughs> you still are young. This is back in the USA. Another rock band gets a big star in Hollywood. And the bells are ringing. Let's go back to Martin now. Take a look at tonight's Hollywood Report. Martin? Leading off tonight, the rock band Chicago is celebrating its 25th anniversary. The band was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame today. Honorary Mayor of Hollywood, Johnny Grant, was on hand to welcome the entire band at the unveiling ceremony. The group thanked their fans for making this anniversary a memorable one. The jazz-influenced rock band was formed in Chicago back in 1967. Since then, the group has recorded 21 albums. Walk of Fame, the eight members of Chicago kicked off their Silver Anniversary concert tour tonight at the Greek Theater. They say they will bring all their energy from the past 25 years to the live stage during this national tour. And the boss... And after 25 years of cranking out the hits, the rock group Chicago was honored with their very own star on Hollywood Boulevard. It's good enough for Errol Flynn and John Wayne. It's good enough for Chicago. Miller Genuine Draft Concerts at the Greek Theater, along with Miller Light at the Pacific Amphitheater, bring you Chicago. July 23rd and 24th at the Greek Theater, and July 25th at the Pacific Amphitheater, with special guests the Edlows. And July 25th and 26th at the Greek Theater, Dan Fogelberg.